गुड इवनिंग फ्रेंड्स टुडे अगेन वही दिस इज माय सेकंड यूट्यूब वीडियो ऑफ दिस इवनिंग एंड दिस इज अनदर मैथमेटिकल प्रॉब्लम दैट हैव कम इन फ्रंट ऑफ अस दैट ए लिपिड रैप्स आर इन्वॉल्व्ड इन सिग्नल ट्रांडक्शन इन सेल लिपिड रैप्स यू ऑल नो दैट लिपिड रैप्स आर द पार्ट ऑफ सेल मेम्ब्रेन and so we can easily say that this is a question related to cell membrane if we know about the part the cell membrane contains lipid protein and lipid lpl part and the somewhere the where the large number amount of cholesterol are present in this cell membrane that part we consider as lipid wraps and they have given a problem of lipid wraps here first of all we have to this is a, when we see this kind of problem uh, we can say that uh, in our mind first uh, we can fear of it as because this is a, they have given five to six line of this question but without reading or without analytic analysis this part we cannot say it is a tough part tough question but if a pioneer we have firstly or secondly attempt for the csi and net they think that it is a very tough question so first of all we have to read the question what they have given and what they want to know from us that lipid wraps are involved in signal transduction of cell very good wraps have composition different from the rest of the membrane so they have already told what i have already told that wrapped part is the part lipid wraps are the part the cell membrane that contained the composition but lipid wraps are different composition they have they differ from one another from composition so they have different composition what cell membrane contents and another raft contents wraps were isolated and found that cholesterol and sphingolipid two part they have told in this question cholesterol and two sphingolipid ratio 2 is to 1 if cholesterol contain two part then sphingo sphingolipid contain one part so we can easily say that these they have given a clue in here the estimated size of the wrapped is uh, they have given a part the position or the the size of this wrap that is uh, 35 35 nanometer square and if the surface area of the cholesterol they have also given that surface area of the cholesterol uh, surface area of the cholesterol they have given that is Forty angstrom, and they also said that similar surface area of sphingolipid is sixty angstrom. So, how many cholesterol and sphingolipids are present in one wrap? And they given the area that is. The raft containing thirty-five nanometer square area, and the ratio they have given for the if cholesterol contain two parts, sphingolipid contain one part, and the surface area of the cholesterol is forty angstrom, and the surface area of the sphingolipid is sixty angstrom. So, uh, without any difficult calculation, if we think very easily that. if we think very easily that um, suppose the cholesterol part cholesterol part is 
containing twice than the sphingolipid so we can easily say 2x is the cholesterol total suppose that suppose 2x is the cholesterol part and the total component of the cholesterol is 2x and the total component of the sphingolipid is x 2 into x and 1 into x as because they have given a ratio of cholesterol and sphingolipid 2 is to 1 so from where we can calculate that forty into two x plus sixty into x equal to now we have to thirty five nanometer square or we can say it from here thirty five into hundred or 3500 so from where we can say 80x plus 60x equal to 3500 So we can from here we can easily calculate the value of x that is 25. So if the value of x is 25 if x is equal to 25 we have already calculated if x is equal to 25 so 80x equal to cholesterol and sixty x equal to spingolipid spingolipid so if x equal to twenty five so two x equal to fifty so if cholesterol cholesterol Suppose this part is not necessary for here. You can you can discard it, so it is not needed. So we can easily say from this equation, if one is to two equal to or two is to one is the ratio between cholesterol and sphingolipid. So if cholesterol contains number fifty and Similarly, the spingolipid must be 25. So, cholesterol equal to 50 number and x equal to spingolipid. That is 25. So, now we can see the option of this answer that is first option is 50 cholesterol and 25 lipids second is 200 cholesterol and 100 spingolipid third is 400 cholesterol and 20 spingolipid and fourth is 20 so we can easily say that number 4 is the correct answer we can easily say the uh, question number uh, option number 1 is the correct answer so 
you can easily say that option one is the correct answer so thank you guys for watching this video please click the like button and subscribe my channel thank you very much